All right, so the last episode ended in pretty cool. And this game always ends up doing that. It's like boring, 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 boring. It's suddenly awesome. And yeah, I just hope and it then... doesn't get all the way fucking boring again. Because goddamn. I mean, I feel like I feel like they're gonna keep the pacing. Because if they want go back to boring, I feel like we should just close this game and never touch it again. <laughs> yeah, because with Shu dying, sorry no, Shu being the killer. Oh no, not the killer. Shu being involved with cutting up the chick and distributing yeah. the parts. He also had the neurotoxin or whatever it was on his scalpel blade, and that's why Yu died. So he's. He's associated with the poisonings, um, mm -hmm. and but we know that neither Yuya nor Shu killed her, right. and we're probably pretty sure it's Ryuta who killed mm -hmm. her, because right. he can't remember it. I don't. I hate not like psycho babble. You can't remember this for short periods of time. Bullshit. It's shitty way of disguising your inability to write plot is yeah. what it is. It's, it's, Legitimately terrible. Like, really bad writing. But, this game is awesome music. I was definitely won over from the last one. Uh, I hope we can find that track at some point. Yes. And yeah, let's just, this is, this is see how this goes. Let's see if this is the last episode. I don't think it will be, though. No. Oh, it's 6pm. Only four hours left. Until... I think it went from 2pm to 6pm over that. I think pretty much over that episode. Oh. But, like, the climax is clearly going to happen at 10. So, it's actually quite right. a bit away. Oh, God. I think it's just gone back to boring stuff. Oh. Oh my god. Why? <sighs> pacing! Fix yes, pacing! Seriously. Please! Some of the worst pacing I've ever seen. This is like the negative side of reading reviews before doing stuff. You end up only seeing good shit. So when you're exposed to something completely fucking average like this. It's not even average. This is subpar. Yeah. Whoa, it's Nageki. Yeah. You can tell by the music. That's exactly... Like, <laughs> I was all tapped for... Because I was reading <laughs> all the wiki. And I'm like, this music is Nageki's music. Yep. It's the music I listen to before I go to bed and wake up to in the morning. Mm-hmm. How come he can see ghosts? Yeah. Maybe Ryota is not actually a bird, but a man in a bird costume. a body part <laughs> no it's documents apparently from five years ago uh, operation had a fall over operation had a fall did you know operation gothic serpent was the name of the united states forces 
when they attacked the city of Mogadishu during the 1991 conflict in Mogadishu, or three, yeah, based so, on Black Hawk Down. Used for biological weapons development for at least five years. 2180. What a surprise. Shu was working on biological weapons. <laughs> that was... What? Named Sharon Virus. He's entered the research in St. Pigeon Nation's Medical Center. Sharon Virus? Like Sharon Stone? Secret things, huh? Behind thing... closed doors. <sighs> All right, tell us what happened five years ago. Could a war between humans and pigeons could be called a war? Wouldn't it just be a genocide of pigeons? <laughs> this is what I asked you a couple of days ago. Yeah. Or episodes, I guess. So really, just like earlier today. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I have no idea how there's any form of war between humans and pigeons. Like that movie about the birds, like if People had machine guns and flamethrowers. <laughs> pigeons. Flamethrowers specifically, fucking... like. Well, I guess flamethrowers would fuck you up too. But if you're wearing like a fireproof suit, it's yeah. not a problem. And you would. Or fuck maybe up the everyone birds. can wear a gas mask, and they drop chemicals from the sky. Pigeons don't wear gas masks. Chemical warfare would defeat pigeons. So I should become an anti-pigeon military analyst. I'm a fucking genius at this. Is, like, the theme of being a burden to your surroundings strong in Japan? Because that has come up in many forms of Does fiction. Does Japan have a lot of suicides? Does it? Amongst kids. I know like for some reason off. Australia has a huge suicide rate. I have no idea why. It's awesome over here. I think generally suicides here are associated with bullying or stuff like that. Right. I, I don't know about stuff as deep as... I'm being a burden to my fellow <laughs> classmates and comrades. Yeah. I must really my life. I don't, I don't think that's a uh, thing. Wow, that's a new image. It is. What? Is, what is this? Secret laboratory? Yeah, he was ex like done. They did experiments on him. a gas mask or no why can't the human just wear hazmat suits <laughs> exactly or why didn't they just flee to space it... I would assume by 2188 space travel exists I will call you out I bet by 21 even though neither of us will be able to like check this I don't think people are going to be on moon on Mars but I think 
there's going to be a colony on the moon, albeit very much yeah, I think you're underpopulated. Crazy. Nope. Not going to happen. 2188? No way. 21. That's more than that's more than 200 years after the moon landings. Yeah. That's completely possible. I can see us living you know, on a space station. I can see. But we already that. do that. So I I think colony as in it's a research colony and they don't do anything else. Oh, uh, maybe. Sure. Yeah, okay. Research like station at, on Mars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And and space travel is a lot more feasible from Mars. Like pe tu space tourists increase in size. Nope. But no one wants to live on the moon because nope. the moon is nope. Space worthless. tourism to ex exoplanets or ex sorry other planets. Nope. To Wait, the moon. Wait, no to way. the moon. Nope. Not gonna happen. In two hundred years. Yep. Nope. Did you know in two hundred years we invented the internet and machine guns? Yep. But think back 200 years. Look at the differences between now and 200 years. Like, we had the Industrial Revolution, and I know that was a big thing. I don't see us having a gigantic revolution in the next 200 years that enables us to have intersolar or intrasolar space tourism. Not sure. Space tourism already exists. Yeah. Richard Garriott, spaceman. Because it's way easier, in a lot of ways, to dock at a space station than it is on a planet, because you don't have to escape the gravity well. I can see us in space stations in 200 years. I cannot see us having, like, easy tourism to planets. Uh, I don't know, man. There's a big difference between, like, docking in a space station. 200 years ago, North America and Africa weren't even colonized. And look at us now. I'm living in North America. Wait, North America's more than 200 years old. Talking about America was founding in the early 1900s. Really? Yep. I thought it was the 1800s. Nope. Okay. I don't. I don't really care. I feel guilty getting away with these lies sometimes. Yeah. Thank you. Cause I, I don't really care, so you can say whatever. I don't know. Two hundred years. Lot, lot can happen in two hundred years. It depends on what revolutions happen. Like humans develop. It only it only stars. takes the Chinese to build military bases on the moon for space technology in America to grow exponentially. That's not gonna happen. Sure it will. You just need a space race. That's the only motivation you need. Let's see. No, because space races were partially because of defense concerns. Of course. I'm so that's, that's what I said. I don't really see the world letting or China and the world not being in a joint situation if there was to be something like a fucking moon station like the International Space Station is a, is a clear example of us working together to go to space and that's how I think it's going to be going forward but the first 40 years of space related activity was, was the first 40 years it's, be, the it's a very different War. world since then you're talking about Cold War China's, came and went. China's the rising superpower. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, it only takes 500 Chinamen landing on the moon for America to land one more American on the moon. Oh, wow. <sighs> wow. Awesome. Nothing happened. Great. Other than the very beginning of that chapter, it was extremely disappointing. No, because we found out about like the Gekki's past, and, and like, where the, the doctor the Sheriff is, virus. and the virus, and the plan to kill all the humans. So, I'm going to say that Ryuta 
has the virus strain now, so when you yep. enter the room, she had the virus and died. Yeah, probably. And, even better, because they did that, um, she died, so they have to give the school to the humans, and these guys all have the virus. Right. And that is why, and this is just me making it up, but I think Shu wants Ryuta to investigate the murder so that he comes into contact with the vast majority of the people in the school. Because he'll go around questioning people and stuff. So he's spreading the virus, then they give the school to the humans, and then the humans all die. Alright. The second exciting music comes up, you know shit's going down. Yeah. There has yet to be exciting music yep. since that battle. Yeah. suspect Kazuaki of foul play? Uh, no. I think he's just a fucking boring character. Alright. has nothing of value. <laughs> Angle! Yeah! Love this guy. <laughs> nice. Alright, angles with this. I feel far more confident. Alright, so he, he's... I bet this entire time, every time mean, he says demon spawns, he means this crazy virus. Yes. And somehow he knows no, the virus is here. I think he's just genuinely crazy. No, I think, I think he... I think he's crazy, but he's... Um, sensing and interpreting things that are pivotal to the plot and are useful to the player. I think, but that he's doing that unbeknownst of like he just doesn't un know what's going on. Like it's completely out of his knowledge what's going on. He just happens to be correct. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. I think he's actually sensing a higher amount of demon spores in this area. He just vocalizes it in this way. Nice. See? He knows stuff. I don't know. Coincidence. Nope. And it makes sense. Like if he, um, in the in the route with him, we battled the tree of whatever, be, which which spawned demon spores. That was yeah. the um, like the the stuff the doctor was working on, involving the human killing disease. Right. What I'm saying I, I always, is that I, I don't think that route was character. a serious route, and that route was non-canon to the Hatiful Boyfriend world. No, I think that that route was very accurate to the plot. Why was he spouting JRPG lines, Shu? Well, that's his little form of madness. That's fine. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, he saved the world. In that route, we saved the world and left. 
That was probably my second favorite route. Behind what? Oh, Lady Boy. Yeah. I don't really care about the loot. I just I enjoyed looking at pictures of Nageki in a skirt. place has a really big draft. Lots of wind. The Midnight Hunter. Oh no. Do we get to fight him? Oh, that hit almost sounded comical. I don't know, for <laughs> some reason. Doesn't sound... Fucking just ruined the tension in the scene for me. This trial cannot be avoided. This is gonna be a JRPG battle for sure. I hope so. Cause Angel's here. Yeah, exactly. If Angel's here, we can do anything, man. He's already saved the world once. Oh, cool! What? You have a stun gun. I forgot about that. Oh. Fire hose! Fire hose stun gun combo! Let's do this! Like fucking Pokemon. Yeah. I told you, man. When the main character gets knocked out, when he's just about to find out the truth, you're like ten percent from the end. Yeah. Wait, no, that was like fucking four no, episodes it was like, ago. It was like one and a half episodes ago. Considering we've only done like four episodes of this, it's not 10% near <laughs> the like end. It's like the sixth episode, I swear. This feels like it's been going forever. <sighs> Alright, let's see what's on the sack. Ugu, Ugu. <laughs> That's. Oh no! Why? <laughs> Why? Best sound effect. Best sound effect. The hell was that? That's hilarious! What was that supposed to be? They beat the Scarecrow. Nice. Okay, so he's psyching himself up to do something heroic. Right. Hey, what's up? <laughs> nice. He doesn't understand uh, death at all. No. Well, none of the pigeons really seem to understand death. <laughs> yep. Considering well, it's simply, it's not this person anymore. Yeah. Well, he is the pudding god. He is eternal. I, I think only these older, like, apparently Sen, or whatever his name is, San, can't understand death. I think the rest understand death. Why? They always talk about it's no longer <laughs> someone anymore. No, I think it's just this guy. Actually, no, you're right. The principal was the main character. And he said, no longer him. Yeah, maybe you're right. Same with uh, Hyoko. When he first looked at Hyoko's head, it's like, it's right. no longer Hyoko. One. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Sakuya. Avenge Yuya. This music kills all of the fucking tension. <laughs> <laughs> this is the character of Oko-san. Kills Man. all of the tension. This reminds me of Final Fantasy XIII, where it's like multiple groups of protagonists converging on the final battle. Uh, 
Hey, laboratory. Stem cell research lab. Burn it down. <laughs> See, I think he's just awesome. He totally senses the stuff. Okay. I think it's luck now. Oh! This is from the files we read at the start of that episode ages ago. Yeah. So that's- so he's actually like a psychic. Mm. That like, makes other people believe he's crazy. It still looks crazy to me, man. I love All him. Crazy. Easily my favorite- oh, second favorite character behind you, yeah. Oh, boom. No, oh, wow. I hope there's a final battle, and I hope it's JRPG. Yeah. I hope everything's stupid and crazy and janky and fucking stupid stuff. I don't know. Let's see. So the drama CD voice actor for Shu doesn't really work. That's unfortunate. Oh. This looks like similar to the final battle from Angle's route. Oh, this is like fire. All right, the post fire room. Right. This seems like a perfect place for a final boss battle. Yeah. Where it all started, man. Can Shu even fight? Oh, man, it's, it's going down. <laughs> Who killed Tosaka Hikoyo, Hiyoko? <laughs> oh what? god. Nice! Fucking children's movie, an iron bar game? Yep. <sighs> From the ceiling! There's a lot of tension. What? Whenever this song comes up, it's like really serious. Yeah. But then, the weirdo iron bar, p yeah. like PNG thing overlay. Uh, I see you falling into You've my trap. You already figured it out, dude. You we already know what's happening. Come on. Yep. Stop talking in circles and tell us what's going on. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus. Send live carriers into their society and allow it to spread by airborne infection. Thank you. 
course they got a female to voice Nageki in the drama CD. It only makes nice. sense. That's us. Because we're always sick and go to shoe. Right. Like, seriously, this is so obvious. I wish they tried harder. Yeah. Actually, no. If they tried harder, they're just going in more circles, trying to hide things that are more obvious. No. Oh. I I, th I think they could have done better. They could have done better. Maybe they just... They're just not meant for writing good stories <laughs> yeah. that are serious. What is it that they you can forgot? write crazy stuff, but... Yeah, we know what's happening. can't breathe. Whose fault is this? Is that like a he <laughs> he as in like a laugh or breathing heavily? No, I was breathing heavily. Uh oh. Symptoms of a human infected with Sharon virus and passed away. Any human that comes into contact with you will die. <gasps> okay, so this is kind of dumb. So they can't spread the virus to other pigeons. He's no. the only carrier again. Yeah. So he can just kill himself now and save everything. Well, theoretically, they should be able to harvest his organs. Uh, well, that's what they do with the other dude, but then it would still be reset back to zero. Like, he right. can still prevent the imminent threat to humanity posed by the shutdown of the school and the killing of the ambassador. I don't... Th he's not Yuya. He doesn't have the balls for it, though. Yeah, I know, right? The scarecrow's head. head is Hyoko. Denounced unethical. That's what? birds have ethics. What a surprise! Don't scarecrows scare, scare away birds? Why would you get a scarecrow assistant if you're a bird? Oh yeah, that's that's her. Yoko's brain! Oh, wow. That's, That's kind of funny. Creepy. That's kind of funny. Why is that funny? That's just creepy. Things like this usually creep me out, man. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Why, is, why are you putting your... If you can make a cyborg, you can make right. a robot. Like, why... Why even? Because it's it's a lot more maniacal if you put someone's <laughs> brain in a robot. <laughs> you can claim yourself to be a better mad scientist. This is so dumb. I, I would have vastly preferred if this ended in like a JRPG fight and just credits. Well, I don't, I don't think this is near the end yet. Well, we just found out like the thing. All I have to do now is resolve, and we're done. 
Oh no, I from what I've read, there there seems to be a little bit more than this. Maybe at least two more acts worth. Fuck off. <sighs> That's it. Goodbye. Sure. I guess we should, we should we should end this here. Yeah. Can't we? So there you go. We're almost there, I guess. Maybe maybe not. <laughs> We've been saying almost there for quite a while. Forever. So thanks for joining this us. Is this is gonna be there. it for the week. I guess yeah. we gonna have to come back next week and finish out. We'll, we'll probably finish next time, right? Like we have to. Yeah. Well, that's what we said before, and we've yeah. spent like four hours today playing this game. <laughs> and pretty much nothing of a note app well that's unfair things happened but just like not in any way that would make sense in terms of storytelling or pacing things were really things and a lot of it was obvious that we called well beforehand but hey thanks for watching goodbye